What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be working on a different bike because the trike, the trike is on the ground. Missing the wheels. We finished up, finished up the trike and uh, this past Saturday brought it to a party at my friend's house and everybody's ripping on it and the wheels just went. So yeah, we're going to do those go-kart wheels tires whatever sooner or later at least we know it runs it performs it does its job we just gotta get the damn tires find the right axle size because all the ones i'm finding is 5 8 and that's a 12 mil axle unless i find a 12 12 mil to a 5 8 or 15 millimeter spacer because uh 5 8 is actually just about 15 millimeters so yeah i might just go that route but yeah, just gonna shove this thing into the storage, put it on the back burner, find a deal on some uh, go-kart tires so we can put those PVC, ABS, whatever plastic rings on. And yeah, get to ripping again. We got a different bike we're gonna be starting on tonight. Let's get that on the table. A Razor Pocket Mod. Right now it's got a stock motor. That's some SX500 electronics on the side, so we did that. I was running uh, two drill batteries, the SX500 throttle and controller. The motor burnt out real quick, so yeah, we decided to go ahead and um, do what we do. Let's start ripping this thing apart. any other panels so we can't we can't we cannot run a fork that has a suspension and we can't be stretching it I bet you guys are wondering what motors going into this thing and you know that on this channel we don't build things how they're usually built we go a bit further I'm pretty sure you remember this motor this motor was on, was previously on my Fido. That's going into here. Somehow making it fit. That was easier than I thought. You gotta cut this battery tray out. You gotta cut some of this bottom tray out. Um, that's about it.
We got the bike all back together. Got this from uh, one of my first swing arms. I think I weld this somewhere over here for the rear disc. The front already has mounts. Planning on doing a far driver and a 72 volt again. This motor already did high 60s on 72 volts. So yeah, we're gonna just keep it at that. It's a nice little cruiser at that speed, but it's getting late. Let's continue this another day. Four to six weeks later. What's up? Welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I recorded that last clip. But yeah, finally got over my cold. And this is the pocket mod now. I got it stripped, painted. The rear brake, um, the rear brake caliper mount welded on, the controller mount welded on, and um, it's time for reassembly. Mounting the controller back here on this bracket. I didn't think this through because I gotta take the wheel off to put these damn connectors on. Maiden voyage, everybody. Figured I'd get a ride in before I get before I head to work. <clears throat> <laughs> Look at all that traffic. Looks like it's gonna rain too. <laughs> get a little ride in. Um, maybe get some B-roll footage. This setup is the exact same setup that was in my Fido initially. This is the same 48 volt motor. Um, 1500 watts. A far driver controller. This is the 72 volt battery between my feet. I didn't check the freaking battery. Battery's about to die. We gotta go. Okay, we gotta go. Oh no, it's drizzling. Let's go this way. Clicking it to three.
motor's still nice and cool. How fast was that? Fastest was 59.6. Gotta get back home before it starts actually coming down. It looks like it's gonna start pouring. 8.30. And there's still traffic. That sucks, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully get a night ride in with the boys soon. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoots.